this I call depression. Uh, depression is a very real, very prevalent uh, emotion in grief, and it may not be clinical depression. Let's 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 clear that up from the get-go. In grief, we have grief depression. In life, we have clinical depression. Sometimes uh, in grief, you can have clinical depression, but not all grief depression is clinical depression. Sometimes sadness is a uh, deep, overwhelming sadness is diagnosed or misdiagnosed as depression. In clinical depression, we don't give a rip about anything. We just want to give up. It's apathy intertwined with our depression. It's sadness. And, and it, it's, it's kind of a control alt delete um, for us, you know, for our soul, just to stop and drop. Depression allows us to take care of ourselves, to practice self-care. Uh, this is grief depression I'm talking about, that we can be on the couch, that we can read about our loved one, we can mourn, uh, we can lament our loss. And the sadness we're feeling is not necessarily the depression. As I mentioned, it can be just the overwhelming sadness. Because when we're clinically depressed, uh, we don't give a rip about anything. And, that, and, and if you're clinically depressed and you're going days and weeks uh, with feeling so, so sad, and, and, and when, when you're in the deep depression, you may not even think of your loved one. You may not think of your work. You may not think of anything. You just stare at the ground and your brain is in clinical depression where you're so depressed, you're not even talking about your loved one or, or anything. You're just isolated, a little cocoon uh, where no, not many people can get in, only within your own thoughts. And that can be a very dangerous spot to be in. So if you find yourself after weeks of being in sadness and, and you think you may be depressed, uh, it's time to see the doctor. Call a friend, call a friend. Sometimes a friend can, can if we have nothing to compare to, uh, we just assume we're in deep depression too. So if we call a friend and go out and meet somebody and then we kind of start talking about our loved one, we talk about other things and, and we just get some fresh air, we start breathing and we get out and maybe the sadness will lift a little bit and it may not be depressing, depression per se, with, and you would not need medication. It may be just uh, the sadness, overwhelming sadness where you need to uh, express it with somebody in a safe spot. So find someone safe, some some place where you can go uh, to 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 share uh, the pain in your heart, because the, the sadness, the depression, will come and go. Uh, often, all these emotions in the faces of grief will come and go. This picture here, I remember when my father died when I was 15 years old, and. I wasn't even allowed by society really to talk about it. Big boys don't cry. My mom said, you're the man of the family now. I didn't cry at the funeral. I just kind of stuffed it. But many times when people didn't see me out playing ball or out fishing or uh, out hiking or playing with my buddies, uh, I was sitting on the bottom bunk bed in my room, just like this picture, and, and staring at the floor. The sun is shining outside, and there was nothing. Unfortunately, that is a part of the journey. And, but take time for that. Take time for yourself. Take time to feel the pain. Take time to feel the sadness and express the sadness. And again, drink water. Get some exercise. Get some air. Do things that will help alleviate your sadness. Because uh, lack of oxygen, lack of water, uh, a lot of anxiety and not sleep can lead, can lead to depression. Uh, as, as, as well, other many factors. So uh, to, to know that it's, it's an interweaving part of the journey, that you, there'll be down days and there'll be better days, and there'll be days where you just want to sit like this and just stare off into space. The time kind of loses uh, uh, meaning after a while sometimes when uh, you're in this state. Uh, hours can pass and, and you're just uh, completely out of touch with the world. Uh, so reach out to people, call people, please call if you need some help to get out of your depression, or if you think you're clinically depressed, uh, seek some medical help. Turn on your heart light, do the best you can.